everyone, and welcome back to Kingdom. This time, two crowns. A solitary monarch carries the crown to a new land. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this one. Those of you who are not familiar with what Kingdom is, you uh, may like checking out my two previous series, both on Kingdom, the original title, and then the enhanced version, Kingdom New Lands, and now this. Each one is more or less, well, not a true sequel, but a, an evolution of the, the, the game that came before. And Kingdom Two Crowns has a lot going for it, but I have not touched any of it. Yet, this is completely blind, and if if you take nothing else away from, from this, take this. Don't look anything up in this game. This game is amazing for discovery. You just learn the game as it goes. The system is simple enough to grasp everything the game wants to teach you, and to continue uh, continue learning new strategies. The, the, the game mechanics itself are incredibly simple, but the way you interact with the game can become quite complex. There's lots of subtle strategies to this game. Right, we're gonna pick up all of these coins. Our ghostly friend here is leading us to what will be our new kingdom. I love the two uh, the statues in the background, that's amazing. Right, stand here. We will be uh, adding some coins up here to start our little kingdom, and then we're gonna give some coins to our peasants as well. Now, I want my peasants to become, uh, yeah, at least one bowman. And it looks like we can get a builder as well for three coins. Okay, all of our coins are gone now. Now, the bowman is going to go ahead and gather uh, a bit of money by hunting deer, hunting rabbits. The, um, the, the builder there will do things like, uh, if we tell them to chop down trees, they'll run outside the kingdom to chop down trees, so on and so forth, which is very, very much necessary. Uh, I want some more people, though, realistically. The ghost is definitely le leading me in a direction. Okay, fair enough. We'll follow you to begin with. Recruit one more. Okay. There you go. One more. Uh, actually, I kind of want two more. <laughs> I'm going to go off the rails in this tutorial. Of course I am. Horse, why don't you have a little bit to eat? There we go. The, the horse isn't out of stamina. It can happily gallop, but I would like it to uh, gobble down some food anyway. Right, now, as you might already guess from the uh, the title, Two Crowns, this game is playable with co-op, and that is a big part of the uh, of the update to this one. Will you, will you please kill some rabbits? I need, need coins. No, okay then, fine. Will you kill some rabbits so I can get some coins? Maybe, maybe not. Well, I need something, but the, the days are burning. Right, so, in a nutshell, this is a strategy game. You've got an enemy that will visit you most nights. Uh, you've got a land that's all side-scrolling and beautiful, if you hadn't already noticed, and more beautiful than the last game, which is quite impressive, frankly. Uh, we've got... There's lots of little, little things around the island that you can interact with. We've got another uh, bunch of tents over here, which is quite important to us. Uh, what else have we got in, in this direction, though? We have got a bridge. Okay. Now, there should be, if this is anything like New Lands, a, uh, a boat somewhere. We have found a... St Ooh. Now, that's new. Usually, you use coins to buy everything, but we need to spend four diamonds to unlock this. This is a shrine that allows you to upgrade certain aspects of your kingdom in some way. Okay, we found a mountain. Now, this will be the... Uh, the hold of the enemy. Now, if we check out over here, can, can we go in there? No, we can't. But that is that is locked right now. Okay, that's interesting. We can go no further in that direction. But uh, I didn't see an active portal. Interesting. Very interesting. Every night, enemies or the greed will spawn, and will try to invade your kingdom. Now, ultimately, they want to take your crown or coins. They don't really care which. They they'll they'll take whatever they can get. That hence the name, the greed. Now we'll leave these uh, coins around. Oh no! Don't be so greedy. There you go. There we are. Now you two follow me back to the kingdom. Uh, if they can encounter one of your peasants, they'll uh, and they, your peasant has been upgraded to an archer or a builder, for example. First they'll smack them. They'll take their tool. Then they'll smack them. Then they'll take their gold and they revert back to to uh, an unaffiliated peasant. Right now our horse is a little bit tired. You can see the uh, the breath steaming there. You can rest. 
restore their stamina by finding them a grassy patch. We can't find a grassy patch at the moment. No, no, go the other way. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm unable to chase them down. Alas, that would be very good. That would be useful as a farm. You know what? We're going to get all of these. Oh, well done, Archer. You've been doing very well. I would like these trees chopped. So head on out, Builder. Get all of that sorted for me. Uh, I would like... Hello. I would like more archers, frankly. Let's get a couple more of these. Uh, we've got at least that many people. Uh, I would like a little defense right there. Just so that we've got a defense against the greed, which I'm going to assume then are going to come from this direction. Uh, go ahead, you can join us. Now, this is the merchant's tent over here. Now, the unfortunate thing is we can remove things with the trees. Uh, but if you remove the trees around an object, that object disappears. So, for example, I could clear this land over here. And by clearing the land, you make more room for rabbits to pop out, which means your hunters get more... more um, money for you but also you can push your defenses further along you can build towers at these little rocky outcroppings but they will uh, take control of a uh, of one of your um archers so uh, early on i'd recommend against it you don't really need to have all of your your people doing that now what we could do is we could go ahead and upgrade our camp straight away you don't want to tie up your archers in a location. Here we go. Here's the greed. Please, please take them out. There we go. Well done. Now, my builder should repair this. I could even upgrade it further if I really wanted to. I'm not focused on that yet. Were there any uh, greed over on this side? Oh, there were. So this did take a bit of damage. Hmm. Okay, that's a little bit troubling. Uh, I would have much preferred if they had not, but okay. Can I upgrade this further? I may have the coins to do so. Let's see. Just... Enough. Okay, so we've upgraded our little camp here. It's becoming something more. Now, the merchant will give you some coins every day. And if you pay them a coin, they'll go back to their hut and they'll they'll gather things. I think of them more as a, as a trapper. So they go back and they gather all of the the uh, money that they... Uh, sorry, the furs that they've acquired and they, they bring them back for you. Now, in daytime, our people will be a little bit more brave and they'll head out. Go ahead, join, join, the, uh, join the camp now. I would like, can I get rid of this? Now, if you're lucky and you can find a glade, you can expand from that glade. Ah, here we are, there's the boat that we need. Now, I might be able to cut this away. Yes, I can, marvelous. My builder will head out and will prepare that. I could even, once that's gone, ooh. I could push our defense all the way over here. Now, if I do that, our uh, rabbit's gonna go. But we would have the merchant and, yes, we're going to do that. We're going to push our defensive line all the way out to this point. And by doing that, we're going to basically inherit the uh, the merchant area and the camp for our peasants and also the boat. And our defensive line will push all the way forward. Unfortunately, we will lose the rabbit dens in the middle. Or at least I believe we will. That might have changed. We'll have to see. Uh, our horse is going to get very tired very soon. We need to find a glade where there's grass, and the horse will stop and have a nom. And we'll restore its stamina. There we are. Thank you. Anyone else got any money? Your king needs to do the taxes. Thank you. Uh, good old taxation. Right, I would like someone to come and be another builder. So I'm going to make sure that there is a tool available there. Have any of you been uh, successful in your hunting endeavors? Yes. Marvelous. I approve. Anyone else? We've got a farm all the way out here, which I wouldn't mind grabbing. Uh, we may... I can't see what... where the sun is, so I can't tell how close we are to night time. Which is a bit of a pain. Let's go and see if we can't get the... the, uh, peasants over here to join us. It's a long run through here. Each one of these will restore one or two a day. Which will be very, very useful. Now, they've got a bit of a long walk. We may see greed get to them before then. We've got enough money to burn. So I'm going to just drop a couple of coins here. Now, the greed, as you might imagine, they're very greedy. They're attacking us for wealth. So if you leave these coins, as soon as they've got something to carry, they'll head back. They're, they're not here for any greater cause. They're not here to conquer us. And they don't care if the rest of their, their companions have anything. As soon as they've got something, they'll head back. And they're happy with that. And I'm happy for them to be happy with that, frankly. Uh, right now, let's see, have you got anything? Yes, you have. Well done, everyone. 
Uh, there we go. Now, it looks like the moon is almost there. I'm a little bit concerned for my builders, who will be very far out to the side. And my archers may be heading out in that direction. Oh, my lord. We've built everything here already? We've brought the entire place into my control? I mean, that's amazing, but... I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, go ahead and break that down. If I have to, I'll pay for the lives of my men with gold. Yeah, the moon is definitely up. Run. Run, my man. Oh, no. Some of the archers are already here. Well done. That's right. You can defend on this side. I approve. We haven't got a spot for a tower, though, which is a bit of a shame, but that's fine. Uh, I may up actually upgrade that wall. Um, we might not have anyone attacking us, though. This is very interesting. Okay, I'm going to cut that down. Now, I don't... Okay, that, that needs... That's an archery target. Maybe it would allow us to have more archers. Now, I'm fairly certain that we can safely chop the trees around here without uh, without losing anything. But I could be wrong. Let's grab all of this. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Uh, have we got any more? Ooh, we've got another chest. Now, the problem is we're on day three already. The problem with all of this is that eventually... Ah! Eventually... If you're carrying too much coins, they'll fall out of your pouch, and they might fall in the river. Okay, we need two gems for that. What else are we going to find over here? It's going to be very interesting. Uh, are there any people here? Any peasants? Yes, there are two peasants. Join the kingdom. Go back. There is at least one tool there waiting for you. Uh, we've got... What the? Okay, this is very new. I have no idea what that is, but it is disgusting. And it is almost certainly where the greed are coming from. The greed come from the far left, the far right. They come through portals, or they used to. But things have changed, clearly. And I can't tell. I don't have any gems, though, and I don't know how I get gems. Maybe I've got to keep upgrading the uh, the kingdom to get gems. And can I just uh, take a moment to say how resplendent I look with my awesome helmet? I imagine that's some feather of a ribbit, maybe even a feather from the bird that just collapsed. It looked like a bird, anyway. But, uh, yes, I like it. And your character is randomly generated. Uh, right, let's get these trees cut all the way back. Now, you'll notice that the background changes when you do this as well. Uh, which I have always found really wonderful. So, the, the deeper into the forest we go, the darker the forest becomes in the background. The more trees, the darker the forest, so on and so forth. But as you cut it back, that, that effect kind of goes a little bit. Now, you are changing one biome for another. You don't get deer on open fields, but you do get rabbits. They get you less money. But eh, it's it's pretty good still. Um, also, you get grass. Go ahead, eat my lovely. There we go. Will you please stop trying to shoot? <laughs> You're really bad at shooting that rabbit. Go ahead, let's upgrade that as well. Let's get the uh, defenses a little bit better. Now we've got a boat. Now ultimately, we want this boat to be complete, to be completely built. Oh my lord! I dropped a lot of materials there. Usually, you designate the boat to be built. And then you have to buy each piece of lumber for the boat. It takes a very long time, as you can imagine, to complete the boat. But that's that was or used to be part of the uh, part of the objective is spend the time to get it. Now we can say with certainty that we no longer have any rabbits in it, but we do have the means to get some. Uh, ooh, we can now upgrade this. We do have the means to get. Uh, Farms up and running, and they'll be protected farms. Farms are always protected to a certain degree. But now these ones look especially protected. I would like another builder as well. Thank you. Ooh, there we go. Now we should get a tax collector. Will spawn. Okay, well, it's night time. The tax collector has just gone to bed. Fair enough. Uh, oh! Oh, no, that... Is, oh, no, no, everything's back again. Ah, it's because I was upgrading. Right. Right, of course, yes. That would have been a problem. Uh, or it could have been a problem. Unfortunately, I, I missed the opportunity to get the merchant to, to head out and uh, bring more more hides today. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, can I upgrade it further? Oh, I can't upgrade it. I need stone. Hmm, that's new as well. Can I upgrade any of this? You can't usually upgrade the, the town hall until you've... Uh, uh, until the day after you last upgraded it. I'm going to make two farmers, though. Let's get two farmers, and then I'm going to need to go and make you a farm, aren't I? Yes. So, we'll leave some coins there for someone. Eventually, there will be someone there. We should have a farm down this way, I believe. And the nice thing about that is it'll be close to the boat that I need. There we go. Let's get a farm right about here. There we are. 
Now, once that's built, the farmers will head out and we'll start farming. Excellent. Anyone got any coins over here? Yes, we've got plenty of coins. That's good enough. And if we upgrade this fully, it becomes a farmhouse. Now, the benefit of having a farmhouse as, as opposed to a farm is a farm your farmers will walk to and then they'll go back to the keep at night because it's not safe outside. A farmhouse, however, they will stay inside. It'll offer them some protection. Um, oh. Really? It's that simple? To get the boat ready? This is very new. You should be so hard. Oh, I need I need something. I can upgrade the farms to a further level. Oh my lord. So much has changed. Got some builders on there. Have we got uh can I upgrade it further? Oh, we've got a full team of archers aboard. Ah, oh, this is grand. I approve. My uh farmers are heading out. They're a bit of a slow slow uh wander there. I'm not, not entirely impressed with that, frankly. But oh well. Um Okay, now I can give my tax collector some cash if I particularly want to. And the tax collector will, you know, do as, as you might imagine. I'll put it in the in the the keep. And the keep will gradually build up. That cash will get gain interest on the cash that's in the keep. But if you've given the tax collector money, you can basically ask for it back. Um, so it's a it's a good way to bank any cash you don't need. And uh, keep it for a rainy day, because as you can see. My coin purse is overflowing, but if the boat is ready at this point, I'm afraid I'm simply going to leave. Wow, this has changed. Uh, it's going to take me a little while to uh, work my way through all of the new mechanics, but again, that's one of the beautiful things about this game. You just learn it by playing it. And again, I really do have to stress, I you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you look any of this up. Can I afford it? I can. Okay, so I'm gonna have to spend the majority of my cash to get aboard the sh Oh, I'm straight on there. Okay. Yeah, we're just launching that. Usually you have to lead the ship to the pier. Uh, we managed to get off the island by day four. Not too bad. Day five is the first big horde that you're gonna get, and it's gonna be pretty savage compared to the regular hordes. Ah, oh, look at this beautiful game. It really is gorgeous. Well, that's not bad. We're leaving with a half full coin purse. Uh, four archers and two builders and we're leaving the uh, the kingdom in a fairly fairly good position I'd like to think Okay, right so we can now move around uh, I can't move around I could continue here I guess Can I Go there Okay, it, it didn't really show me the boat moving so I don't know what was happening there. Okay, so we, we ran aground Ugh. Always happens, but You'll notice, we actually started with three builders, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna spend some of my cash. Go chop these trees down straight away. Uh, right, okay, so we're gonna start again, essentially. But this time, we start with more people. So you don't start from scratch each time, but uh, I imagine if it's anything similar to the way the previous games played out, you are going to have more and more um, unlocks on each island to get you started. So let's uh, push this back a little bit further and head out. We need to explore. It's early morning. But it's time for us to find out what's going on. There's our merchant friend. I'm going to drive all of this all the way back if we can. These large rocky outcroppings are what we will be using for towers. We don't know what that is. Until the forest is gone, we don't know what terrain feature exists there. But it's important to find out for obvious reasons. Uh, we've got... Oh no! Can, can I release you? I want to release you. Yes! Ha-ha! I broke it with a coin. I forgot how that worked. We now have a faithful hound. Best of days. You aren't a true lord unless you have a faithful hound to, to ride with. Because if you're not the sort of person that a dog would love, you're not the sort of person that anyone else can love either. So, you're not a good monarch at that point. Though, uh, this is quite pretty. Uh, is there anything we can do over here? I seem to recall it was a, a steed that you could get at those waterfalls, but I don't see one there right now. We've got another farm out here. Ooh, what are you? I approve. <gasps> gems. Okay, they're rubies. Oh, other gems. That's, they're all different colored gems. Okay, no, I like it. They take up room in my, my coin purse as well. Quite a lot of room, actually. A little bit frighteningly. Go ahead. Head back. I've only got one coin left now. What have we got? Ah, good coins. Early exploration is rewarded. But again, remember you do need to get back. And yes, they can steal your dog. Understand that, that taking a loyal hound is a responsibility. A big responsibility. No, no. 
Come with me. No, okay, you're not getting my loyal hound. Take the coin. Uh, but yes. If you let your dog get stolen, you are the worst kind of person. No! Hound! This way! Uh, no, no, genuinely. It, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts me deep, deep inside. If if the dog ever gets stolen. It happened to me once, and it was bad enough. I think it happened to me once. It might have happened to me twice. I don't know. Maybe I blotted it out in Kingdom New Lands. Because it was quite traumatic. I would have sooner than taken all my peasants than my dog. Uh, okay, well, let's, let's wander. We can we can um, drive the, the deer toward our hunters, if we so choose. And we do. Let's uh, drive that back. We've got access then to a... a uh, farming area. Let's get some more archers. We need a lot more. At least that many more. We also want a proper kingdom. There we go. It's not a proper kingdom. You don't have a natural tent. Though, unfortunately, we can't get uh, the next level just yet, which is a bit of a pain for a while. Alright, let's have a look out in this direction. Oh, well done. You've taken out a couple of rabbits there. Well done. Oh, we can probably get the boat up and running fairly quickly, actually. We really want to move on to the next island, but we've got all these gems. Can we go back to previous islands? Would that be a thing that we could do? Because we take the gems back to the previous islands. That might be pretty cool. We've got a lot of gems now, but uh, I'm a little bit concerned. Ooh, what be you? Some sort of monolithic construct. I approve. Let's see what we get. I have no idea what you do. I hope it's something good. Uh, okay, well, it's morning. Um. My, ooh, is that where we get stone from? Oh, uh, it's a different background as well. I only just noticed that. Uh, go ahead, have some food. Because I am having you gallop quite a lot. There we go. Got to let them finish for it to actually matter. Uh, let's go ahead and build up the, the... Drive back the forest a little bit further. Eventually then, I think on the next... Ooh, that's not what I want to drop. Oh, is that the only thing I've got? Oh, no. Okay, well, I, I, I have lots of gems now, apparently. Um, oh, thank goodness. Coins! Coins! Actually, I'm kind of glad the gems are at the bottom of the, the pack, because they, they are huge and seem to take up a lot of room. Where's my coins? Ay, 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 ay. Okay, leaving a coin. Leaving a coin for now. Alright then, peeps, let's get you back to the kingdom, where you'll be safe. Eventually, then, we'll drive this out a little bit further. Where is my loyal hound? Oh, I thought we'd lost you. Don't do this to me. Oh, okay. I'll uh, hang out with my builders. Actually, we could have the builders quickly drive the defenses all the way over here. And it's only midday, so our archers would have more than enough time to get over here. Thank you. Get over there, start building that for me. Thank you very much, everyone. Let's get this set up. We're next to the woods that we're not going to destroy because that's where we've got a camp. Actually, build that up even further, please. Make sure it's well defended. There we are, and all the, all the woods are now gone from here. But we've got a little bit down here as well. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we just now have stone, perhaps? Uh, oh, the dog is telling us... Right, okay. Now, the dog can sometimes warn you which direction an attack is going to come from. Pay attention to which, point, uh, which direction it's pointing when it barks. It's very important information. I could have you build a second tower here. Oh, you know what? You're going to be annoying, aren't you? Now, I can't... Right, I'm going to leave a coin there, just in case. Um, no, no, silly, silly dude. Unfortunately, we're a little bit too late to get this all set up. Only one um, attacker, though. Yeah, I want you to leave the coins alone. Go, just leave that. No, no, stop collecting the coin. I'm leaving it to try and save your life. You mean more to me than the money, silly man. Come over here. It looks like our defenders are not going to reach this point in time. Unfortunately. Oh, and, and they are, actually. Yes, here they are. Hooray. You might be okay. Please just keep running. Archers. Archers defend the settlement. Oh, well done. You know, I, I do... I, I am thankful that you... Oh, dear. I'm losing all my coins. So let me just drop a bunch there so that you pick them up instead. But uh, I am I'm glad that you did try so hard to protect my, my well-earned. Uh, or rather, your well earned. But your life is far, far more important. My goodness. This is an interesting tune. I like it. I approve of this tune. 
We can't upgrade until the next night. Oh well. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to probably get this upgraded as well, honestly. Uh, there we are. Now, what you can do to defend yourself is these little um, mounds of stone. You, As I mentioned, you can turn those into towers. Well, you don't have to turn them into towers inside your lands. In fact, if you can get one of them outside your lands, it, it's actually quite potent. It does mean that it's vulnerable to certain attacks. There are certain enemies that will just wallop it and take it out. Now, if we had something over here, we could pop down a farm right there, perhaps. And there's lots of rabbits out this far. Um, mm. Yeah, do that. Let's get this going. We're eventually going to want to farm here as well. So let's pop down the money now. It's an investment in our future. We'll also drive this forest back a little bit. We'll drive it as far back as the uh, tree line for this little uh, peasant camp here. Go ahead. You head back. I'm going to leave a trail of gold because I've popped a lot of building. Oh, no. Not my coins. Uh, not my gems. I'll leave a trail of gold there just to dissuade the greed if we need them to be dissuaded. And we've got a lot of builders, but they are quite far away and they've got a lot of work to do. So they're going to have to cover a lot of ground. Oh, actually, no. You're already here. Oh, thank goodness. Well done. You go ahead and build that farm. We're not going to need the farm yet. Uh, did you manage to pick up any coins? You did. Well done. Uh, that's good. Everyone works together. This teamwork makes the dream work, people. They will collect the coins from uh, any archers that they pass by. And then uh, they will deliver it to me. Marvellous. Uh, we can probably grab a, a bit more from out over here as well. So let's go and grab these. Thank you for your work. And grab this one too. I will go out a little bit further and just leave a couple more coins. Okay, you're letting us know that there is a, a bit of a problem over here. I don't mind spending a coin here and there just to make sure the greed don't bother my builders. Again, money is less important to me than your lives. Your lives, I'll, I'll be honest with you, is significantly less important to me than my dog's life. But I think you could all understand if you were lords and had lordly hounds, you'd be the same. Right, let's go and make sure that this wall is fully upgraded. There we are, there's lots of uh, rabbits around here. It's marvelous. And, uh, you know what, there's a little part of me that is actually deeply sad that I've... Ooh! That I've gotten rid of this. Oh! Oh! I had to use a gem! Right, now! Now then! Be prepared to see this. You can now use coins to switch your steed. You can, you can hang around here and enjoy that area. Loyal steed. Look at it spranking through through the fields. Now, there are lots of reasons to have this particular steed. One, it's a bit faster than the horse. It has more stamina, and I believe it eats in the forest. Does it eat grass as well? It can. But the big thing that it does is deers trust it and will follow it. That feels kind of bad when I think about it. But they will uh, they will join they, they will they will follow along with with the uh, the buck. And uh, so you can lead them to your your archers. Yeah, actually, the more I think about it, it's actually kind of horrible, really. But, oh well. Right, day four. We might even get to day five. Now, unfortunately, uh, this is uh, under embargo in a bit of an odd way than, than usually the embargoes work. In that I can put up videos every day, 40 minutes long. And unfortunately, I missed yesterday because of technical issues like uh, like an exploded plug uh you if you follow me on twitter you'll have already seen the damage that caused but uh we're back now so i've missed a day but i am also quite familiar with the game so i'm probably making decent progress so uh hopefully i won't be too too far behind things All right go ahead you can have a nice nice nom there there you go All right, let's get on down now i've got a lot of archers now and so i'm feeling a little bit more confident in putting up some proper defenses uh, also, let's get that fully built, please, and thank you. Let's get you guys down here. The uh, the buck moves a lot faster in the forest. Can you eat off the ground there? No, no, you don't. You just move a lot faster in the forest. The horse moves faster in meadows. So eh, maybe having the horse is the better one when you've largely developed your kingdom. This deer should eventually... There we are. Come back with me. It's gonna, it's gonna suck for you. I'm not gonna lie. 
So, you know what, let's just walk. Let's just walk it. You, you still coming? Okay, maybe, let me just test that you're still coming. Are you still generally following me? Yes, you are. I feel horrible about what's about to happen. Really, I do, and I hope that, that counts for something. Uh, no, no, come back. Come back to my archers. Uh, we are a bad king. <laughs> okay, everyone get behind the stone walls. It's going to be significantly more protective for you. Unfortunately, I can't give you any uh, great defense out here, but you've been doing very well with the gathering of money. Well done, you guys. I approve. All right. Now this... Tomorrow will be effectively a blood moment. It'll be day five. Not a good day to be around, unfortunately. Uh, enjoy your work, farmers. Right, let's get you some noms. Then we're going to go and start the boat. Hopefully we can leave before things get too dire here. And move on to the next land. In fact, that would that would wrap up the uh, the episode at about the right point. Uh, okay, we want another archer, actually. More archers. Two more archers, actually. Go forth. And let's go and see about our boat. Which should be just down here where we left it when we crashed. Uh, really, we waste so much time repairing boats because people don't just don't know how to... Oh, do we now need to start paying? <gasps> ah, okay, maybe the first line was like, yeah, you know what, we're going to give this to you as a freebie. But from then on, from then on, no more freebies. Okay, day five. So, realistically, I want all of the money. Well done, everyone. Oh, oh right, you weren't actually... <laughs> you were just shooting a rabbit. That entire massive volley of arrows, just for one rabbit. Very well. Uh, but we got some more cash. So let's go and see what we need to do on this boat, then. We've got stone. Is that going to be unlocked on other islands? Ooh. Let us hope it is. Because that would be a pretty cool progression mechanic. Uh, let's put a little bit more money in. Yes, it looks like I actually have to rebuild this one properly now. Okay. So now we'll keep that one coin. We need you for my merchant friend, who's going to go off immediately and get me more stuff. Merchant friend. Can I give you some more money? There we go. Perfect. Go forth. Uh, let's go back and spend some of these hard-earned coins on this boat, then. Okay, yeah, they're running out of materials, so... Okay, I'm glad that that mechanic is still here, because it was actually a pretty cool progression mechanic, I thought. Now, the other nice thing about towers right behind your arch, your walls, is the towers can shoot down over the walls. You notice that my archers having to have uh, high arcing shots to, to hit anything. It's a little bit uh, less accurate. It can take them a long time to actually do, do a decent amount of damage there. Uh, okay, banker, I'm going to give you some coins to put into the bank. Go ahead, funnel them into into my uh, my kingdom. I wonder if I can give you gems. That would be pretty potent. Um, I want more archers. More archers, more defenses, please. Got two people here who I can happily get to do more work. Okay, let's go and have a look at our boat and see what level it is up to. It's almost finished, actually. It's not too bad. But uh, this is going to be a bit of a nasty night for us. This night is going to include stronger minions. Uh, head back to the, the ship, please, builders. Did you finish upgrading or repairing a wall? You may have. You guys are still doing good hunting, I think, aren't you? Let's see how this one goes. Fire all of the arrows. Good. It's, it's, as they approach, you've got the best chance of taking them out. Well done. Have they got any of their bigger kin? They may do. And if they do, it's going to be rough for us. No? No, already halfway through the night. Maybe things have changed. Maybe things have changed and the, the, day, the, the multiples of five are not as big of an issue anymore. That being said... The biggest wave of the attack could have been on the other side because it can it can um, change which side it's going to attack on. Now, ultimately, your goal is to get to the point where you can take out the enemies. Yeah, we've almost got the boat finished, so we should be able to uh, get that going. Uh, let's go and see if I can't get a little bit of extra cash from the bank and from the trader. No, not not enough cash from the bank yet. That's fine. Now, the steed that you have will go back with you. Uh, on the boat, or at least they, they used to, so we'll be able to take this steed with us to whichever new area we, we take off to. Oh, did the farmers get wiped out, perhaps? Hmm. I'll we'll have to have a look into that. They should have been safe, or at least that's how it used to work. You gonna follow me? 
Yes, you are. Good. All right. Two new people. More people. There we go. All right. Let's uh, head back to the archers. This way. That's right. Okay. So our farmers are gone. That is quite rubbish. It used to be that they would just um, plow the fields and, and then it would all be safe. Because they could just hang out the uh, the farmhouse and, and not be attacked. Or maybe that no longer is refuge, or perhaps I'm remembering it wrong. Maybe they, they would stop at the farmhouse, but that was not necessarily the best thing for them if there were enemies nearby. Could be the case, actually. Uh, I may have doomed that farm. Sorry, farmers, if that's the case. My bad. Well, it's not a blood moon, so I'm not sure how the game is going to be working with regards to that. But one of the other features of the game uh, in the, the new update, and one that uh, I, I view kind of, like, I appreciate that it probably is going to be useful for quite a lot of people, but it's not exactly something that I would have uh, would have cared for, or, or, is that it's lost the roguelike element. Previously, if your king died, that's it. You started again from the very beginning. It was very, very much permadeath. Now, though, you have an heir. Now, I don't know much about how that mechanic works, so I will reserve my, my full judgment on it, but uh, it, it is an interesting uh, situation. If you die, you don't completely restart the campaign. Your heir will take your place and will apparently have to rebuild your kingdom. Now, I don't know if that means that you get a bit of a, a, bit of a, uh, a boost and a kickstart to your kingdom developing. That would actually be pretty cool, I think. Right. The builders are rushing off now to uh, save everything. Right, we're going to need a lot of coins to launch that ship. But once we can, we will. And we will be off fully. We'll get all the archers on the ship. Now, the ship can actually be quite dangerous because uh, I don't think the enemies can target the people on the ship. But it can still target them. So uh, your archers can do quite a lot of damage from a position of relative safety. But we've got... We're at morning now. We've got... A few minutes, and only a few minutes, to try and get this ship ready. And then I'll be wrapping up this first episode. Alright, let's see what's going on. I may, I may cut wandering back and forth a little bit, just so that I can fit this within 40 minutes. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Right, what we need is to finish the ship. There we go. Right. Now, as soon as we've got all of our people aboard, we're going to be heading off. Hopefully I'll have enough money to do that. We'll, we'll be taking... Our stag and our faithful hound with us. Ah, oh, it's going to be grand. And pretty much, the, the faithful hound, much like you, procedurally generated. So uh, you may end up with uh, different colours of faithful hounds. And sometimes you'll you'll go to another land and you'll find a faithful hound whose colour reminds you of your dogs. And you'll you'll kind of have a moment of of, of despair as you realise you are absolutely going to swap your faithful hound. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a bad time. Uh, I could. Speed this along by getting some builders on here. But it looks like we've got a builder there. Where's the other one? Do we need another one? I mean, it would be grand. I'll pop three coins there. Just get an extra builder. And they can make a run for the ship as well. Now, we have cut back a couple of our units here. Uh, we'll just wander with the ship until the builders get aboard. Because it doesn't look like we can actually launch the ship until we have the builders on board. Come on, builders. Hop in. There you go. Are we ready to go? It looks like we will be. Are you going to jump on as well? I'd totally be okay with that. Uh, three builders. Okay. All the money. Let's see if we've got enough. Have we got enough? We have. Just enough. No, loyal hound. Get aboard. Don't do this to me, loyal hound. You're meant to join me. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was, that was a horrible feeling for a moment there. But there we have it. We've completed the first two islands, and it's already got a lot of new mechanics that, that I've not uh, not seen before. I'm really, really looking forward to how this uh, builds up. Let's have a look at what we uncover. So, um, we can actually go back and forth. Oh, that's fantastic. So, I could take these gems back and see what's going on in the first island. I think that's probably what I'm going to be doing. But that's going to be it for me for now. I really, really do hope you have enjoyed this video and will be joining me tomorrow for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. And take care of your loyal hound.